Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Absolution. Next up, Terminus Hotel. Waiting. For what? Still have a chance. I would send in one of the teams, but this is a job for 47. Why did you do this? Do not turn I turn it to you. Take the girl and run. Yes. Terminus Hotel, room 899. So I asked my bird the question, Holmes, and the answer came back in the shape of a name. Blake Dexter. An arms industry VIP who seems to have taken a special interest in your girl. Dexter occupies the Terminus's top floor, and his thug has the place sealed off tight. Still, a man of your skills and resources should be able to find several access points. Good luck, Holmes. All right, so here we are at the Terminus Hotel. And, uh, it's at this point in the game that Hitman Absolution begins to show its true colors. The last stage is more or less a classic Hitman level. An open stage with one target that needs to be assassinated. This level, uh, is more like a, a level out of Metal Gear Solid. And I don't mean it's a good level, I mean it's a level that has, uh, a linear progression but multiple ways to approach it. You know? Just like Birdie said, <clears throat> right here we're presented with three options. We can go through the front door, we can go over to this alley here, or we can uh, climb down into the sewer, like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle or something. But I'm going to walk in the front door. I, uh, huh, well, that's interesting. Let's, uh, let's keep that in mind. That might help us get through. Oh, buddy. You're talking to me? Yeah. Yeah, you. Look, upstairs is closed. Off limits. Got it? Excuse me, but no need to be rude. I, I, I'm, I'm a guest at this hotel. Hey, you need your ears fixed or something? Upstairs is private property. Just walk away, asshole. And this is me being real polite. Oh, uh... I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry, Jeff, but your, your regular room, it's off limits hey, for the, for the moment. Hey, how's the repair the coming along? Some hot okay, like, from out of town. Right, so, um, <laughs> we're already presented with a problem. This guy's thugs are pretty much put the hotel in lockdown. I think Bertie already mentioned that. But to be honest, I don't really have uh, a very good habit of listening to Bertie. He kind of pisses me off. Now, I could steal one of these thugs' outfits and, uh, you know, just walk right up there if I had some instinct, but that would cut the, hey the game How a little short. Instead, we're going to sneak on through here. And we've got to get that guy out of the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to just bang on his ride. There we go. Really? Huh. That's weird. That's okay. He turned around anyway. Let's get through here and steal this guy's outfit. There we go. And uh, it almost seemed like we almost got caught, but 
unfortunately we weren't seen. There we go. We're looking much snazzier than we were a few minutes ago. What with 47 looking like a hobo and everything. Let's get him in here. I mean, I, I know he's on the run from a big bad uh, organization of super assassins, but the least you could do is take a shower, right? And what's up with that cutting his tattoo? I mean, he could just put a band-aid over it to be a lot less conspicuous, right? All right. Hey, you know anything about these rednecks running all over the place? Not what? That they've taken up the top floors. Not security is tighter than the mayor's ass. And have you seen that huge Mexican? Oh, guy is a goddamn mountain, I'm telling you. And you can just tell the manager is scared shitless. Yeah, <laughs> something strange is going down. Mark my words. What, you mean like a drug deal or something? Wow, that would be awesome. I could use that for my movie. <laughs> you shut up. You, you're writing a movie? Now, come on, you're an asshole. Oh, yeah, man. Okay, you can't talk about this. But it's about this cop, right? Homicide cop. And he's chasing this serial killer all over the city who, who murdered his partner, right? And here's the thing. Only nobody else in the force believes that the killer actually exists. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, good oh. luck with that, buddy. <laughs> hey, would you look at the and <laughs> I mean, I got shit. plenty of things to do. We got to be really careful not to get spotted by these goons. Um, <laughs> nail clippings. Jeez. Right. So, <clears throat> what most people do is they head down to the basement uh, in order to get to the elevator. It's really the easiest route. And let's head down here. Last time I recorded uh, this video, I, I spent a lot of time looking at all the little details, but I kind of felt like it messed with the flow of the video, so this time I'm being a lot more straightforward. You gotta watch out for these guys. Um, I'm not sure what they're looking for, but they are searching pretty hard. Hey, that guy's got my jacket. Oh. Now I feel a little foolish, you know, showing up to the party wearing the same thing as someone else. You don't mind if I take this, do you? Thanks. Um... Right, so you don't want to walk straight through the uh, the room. It's really easy to be seen. It's checkpoint here. And before we get to the next floor, we don't want to show up dressed as a goon because that would make sneaking around a lot harder. So instead, I'm going to put on this, uh, this janitor's outfit. And 47 now just looks like your ordinary, everyday you know bodybuilder slash janitor. Catch me messing around with electricity in a flooded pit. Not for a million bucks, no sir. Shit. Man, that's Joe for you. He's like a living legend downtown. Hey, would you believe he was struck by lightning once? Damn straight. Bastard walked away without a scratch, too. Some of the guys say he could even turn on a light bulb just by snapping his fingers. Oh, so basically this guy's the Fonz, huh? Alright. I'll, uh, I'll call you on that bet. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling a little skeptical about this whole electricity-proof thing, you know? Where is he? There he is. I'll have the sweetheart up and running in no time. Just you wait and see. Oh, okay, great. Are we still down for Saturday? Karen's making a famous apple crumb cake, you know. Oh, you bet. Can't wait for the girls to meet. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Sorry. Boom. Nice. Alright. Come on, you guys know I couldn't make it through this place without killing somebody, right? So, that is one way you can get everyone to stop looking at the elevator. Not that it's really necessary. Um... You'd think that they would be a little more wary of someone using the elevator while they're trying to fix it, but hey. There we go. We hop in the elevator and take it up. Why, thank you very much. Ooh, you're 
approaching the lion's den now. Thugs you encountered are gonna have the A floor completely under lockdown. Now Blake Dexter, he enjoys his privacy. And sneaking into 899 is not gonna be an easy task. And to make matters worse, Dex is protected by a seriously nasty bodyguard who will not... I repeat, not take kindly to trespassers. She should probably look to get off at a lower floor and look for a more subtle entry point. But what am I saying? A pro like you, you probably got the whole thing figured out, don't you? Alright, go get him. So, for those of you familiar with Hitman games, you're already seeing a very stark difference in the gameplay. In Blood Money, uh, the whole the whole hotel would have been open uh, from the very beginning. But here, we're presented with uh, with two stages. Um, one is the lower part, and the second is, of course, the upper floors here. Now, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to pick up this movie reel. And it's going to make our lives much easier when we get up to floor 8. So I'm picking that up right now. And there, yeah, we can always use a fire extinguisher. In Yo. case, uh... Yeah. Now, up here, you. there's just a ton of stuff I could show you. And in the last oh, cut... You're looking good. Oh, God damn. <laughs> These people, they won't fucking shut up. Um... Right, so there's a lot of stuff going Listen, on. Saying, man. I've seen the guy in action. Last guy he fought wound up in a wheelchair. And they're always Sanchez, talking. That big Mexican smells blood. And he is I tried to show everyone it, but uh, you know, it, it really slowed down the video. So this time around, I'm just going straight to it. And I figure I'll show you that other stuff in the contracts video, maybe. Yeah, I'm almost done up here. I tell you, place is a mess. One of the worst I've ever seen. Well, this month, anyway. Blood was just everywhere. Can you believe the guy used a wrench? Yeah. And, I uh... Know. He bludgeoned himself I want to get over to wrench. this fire alarm here. I know. Get these guys away from the door. I not either, but that's what the cops are saying. And then just wait for that guy to turn around and go over here. There we go. No, no! Somebody get this shit under control right now. And even though that guy says I'm on it, he doesn't actually come over here, so we don't got to worry about that. And the maid, of course, left the area too. I wonder if this is the wrench he supposedly used to kill himself. Looks awfully clean, huh? Maybe he washed it after he died or something? I don't know. Oh, Jesus, that was close. And... Hey, don't try pinning this on us. We've been here the whole time. Yeah, well, someone stepped the damn wow. thing off. It's... It's amazing. Whenever you do that, it's invisible. Camouflage. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's standing right there. And that's a voice clip that plays sometimes when people see you crouching. So yeah. All right. So here we are at the next floor. No, no. I know how to turn it on. I know how it's done. Just want to make sure that you. And there's just so many conversations going on. You know it. Why don't? It's almost like they tried to distract you from the fact that this game is a piece of shit. I would if I could, but you know I gotta go guard the stairs, so. Try not to fall on your ass. I'm sorry. What was that? I, I said, you're a badass. Badass. You, you are. All right. Wait for this guy to get the fuck out of here. Gotta do two things. Gonna put this guy under. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Take his outfit. And next thing we gotta do is we gotta start the projector. There we go. And now, everyone in this dining area here will come over and watch the show. And what a show it is, too. Actually, I think it's a it's a cutscene that we'll be seeing later on in the game, so... Yeah, pretty fucking lazy. And... Let's get scissors. Scissors are fun. There we go. Now, uh... 
I could walk around and show you things, but there's really nothing to look at. Um, our goal is right over here. And... What the fuck? Let's just kill this guy. Oh, shit. And that guy's gonna run over here. And I'm gonna kill him. There we go. And I can't have anyone looking at me while I'm picking this lock because then I won't be able to go through the door. There we go. As we move along in this game, you'll find that uh, distracting enemies from looking at a, a door while you're picking it is a big thing to do. So, yeah. Her name is Victoria. Here. And she's worth a lot of fucking money. Ah, she's some kind of enhanced wonder child or something. Point is, we go in, we grab her, we hang on to her until they give us the ransom. She sounds like something you came up with in one of your labs. Oh, who the fuck asked for your opinion anyway? You're a fucking asshole, you know that? You know, your job is to shut up, do what I say, and look good. <laughs> and you do look good, honey. <laughs> Sweet talker. Yeah. Model relationship right there. Alright, and... Oh god, the suspense! The suspense, yeah, and that's the end of the level, so, huh, and somehow I got veteran, even though I was a murdering scumbag, um, yeah, I guess you'll never be eating any crumb cake, right, so, uh, yeah, that was Terminus, it's, uh, it's a level, and we'll be getting a lot more of that as we go through Hitman Absolution. A lot more linear stealth action gameplay. A lot of levels that are very short when you know what you're doing. You know, like I said before, I, uh, I, I recorded like a 40 minute video of me going through the stage and it consisted of me staring at NPCs and yelling and making comments, but I watched it and I felt like it was really, it just really dragged. So, I don't know, much shorter video, I guess. Um, so that's it for Let's Play Hitman Absolution. I'm Nick Meister and I'll see you next time. Birdie's intel is never wrong. A Midwestern arms manufacturer named Blake Dexter is in Chicago searching for Victoria. The agency would never share their secrets with outsiders. Someone else must have leaked the information. But who? I can't trust anyone. All I know is that the girl is innocent. She doesn't deserve this. I will infiltrate Blake Dexter's suite at the Terminus Hotel and learn the truth for myself. Then I shall decide on his fate.